Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be cracking open the 2020-21 SP Signatures Legends Edition Hobby Box. This um, looks like an interesting set. Obviously, it's a Legends Edition, so not going to see any current players. But definitely a lot of players in the past that'll be interesting to see. Our base set consists of 451 different cards. The first 300 being the main set. The next 50 being short prints, next 100 being future watch autos, and the rest are all time future watch mystery bonus cards numbered out of 199 I believe. So they get rarer and rarer. So the autos or inserts that we'll see starting off with the autos, we have 97 legend signatures, century legends which consists of between 1 to 4 players per card, and we've got UD Canvas Legends, which are a mix of both base and auto. In terms of the other inserts, we have Decagons, which is a die cut. We have Evolve, Behind the Boards, Dominant Digits, which we should see at least three of, and Life After Hockey. Another insert in these boxes is the Bounty, which is called Profiles, I believe. Like Pro Files, I'll just throw it up on screen. And that's kind of the that's kind of what we can expect. So in terms of what we're looking at for this box specifically, we've got five cards per pack, 18 packs in this box. We're looking for at least two autos, three of either behind the boards, evolve, or life after hockey, three dominant digits, one profiles bounty, and four UD canvas legends, and three gold foil parallels. So a lot to unpack in this box. Um, I managed to pick this up for a very cheap price considering what they're going for on the market. So glad I got that opportunity. Uh, without further ado, let's crack it open. Okay, let's start out. Not sure why the packs are upside down, but pack number one. Very, very thin packs. Obviously, there's five cards, but uh, let's see. Starting off, we've got Mike Zook, Al McInnes, and wow, straight off the bat, first pack, first auto. All right. We've got John Vanderbroek. Nope, oh, sorry, I can't read that. John Van Biesbroek. All right, I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Um, but wow, first auto. Okay, we'll take it. Um, so we're probably looking at one more auto in this box. Uh, okay, amazing start. I don't uh, know if I like boxes where we get autos in the first pack or if I prefer them in the middle, but uh, either way, let's keep it moving. We got Bob Probert and Matthew Dadno. All right, pack number two. Oh, we got a Wayne Gretzky here. Guillaume Latendres, Nick Lidstrom, and what's the shiny card behind him? Looks like, oh, that's the Decagons die cut. Looks like Joe Watson of the Flyers, 1970s. Wow. All right, and it looks like just the base version. Yeah. All right, nice pickup. We've got Rod Langway and, of course, the great one, Randy Carlisle. All right, we got Robert Cron, Phil Esposito, and what is behind him? Yarmir Yager profile. So that's our bounty. Likely the only one we'll see in this box. So you'd have to buy 49 boxes at least to redeem that bounty um so if that's what you're into hey go for it got bill berg and randy carlisle all right what do we got we got oh Vesa toscola 
And let's just evolve. Yes. Sammy Salo evolve. Looks like the base version. Nice. Alright, we got Marty St. Louis and Red Berenson. Alright, next up we got Mark Bell. We have Felix Potvang, Gilles Meloche, Carrie Wilson, and our insert is framed. Who do we got here? Chris Nillen. Life after hockey. Chris Nillen. Life after hockey. Nice. Probably the only one we'll see in this box. Uh, not sure if I'm a fan of this design though. Let me know what you guys think. It's, uh, it's interesting, it's unique. We have Simon Garnier, Paul Cruz, and another Evolve. Okay, so two Evolves in this box. And it's Grant Fur. Fur. Nice. All right. We've also got Bryce Salvador and Nelson Emerson. Still waiting on that second auto of the box, but we still got plenty more packs to go. All right. And Van Imp. Oh, is this our first gold foil? Yes, Scott Niedermeyer. And this is not our second auto. This is inscription. Still a great card. Bill Barber, Tim Horton, and jo Johan Garpenlov. Wow, we got a Nordique player here. Blaine Stoughton. Alexander Burrows and another gold foil. Is it a real auto? No. Jan Hlavik. Another inscription auto. Lucien de Blois and Mario Merlois. So that's our second gold foil card. We'll probably see one more. Two if we get it in a real auto form. All right, we've got Kip Miller, another gold, and another inscription. Brent Gilchrist. Nice. John Davidson, Trevor Linden, and Dennis Savard. So that will likely be the last of our gold foil cards unless we see that auto. We've got Kyle Wellwood, another gold, so that's probably going to be a real auto. Um, Ray Bork, got Michelle Goulet, Henrik Sedin, and who is our next auto? It is Tom Chorsk. Gonna be honest, never heard of him but it is gold auto, real auto this time. Nice. So that is our second and probably final auto of the box, but uh, we still got some more cool inserts to explore. So let's keep it moving. All right, Tim Hunter, Mike Modano and What's this shiny card? Oh, there we go. All right, let me save that. Ally Freddy, Daniel Girardi, and we've got our third auto of the box. That is very nice. Above average, that's for sure. And it looks like a Decagon's parallel. And who's it gonna be? Oh, it's upside down. Who is it going to be? Abs player, Shane Corson. Auto Decagon. 
That is a nice card. Very nice card. 1990s. So that's three autos in this box. Very impressive. Very happy with this purchase and glad that I got it at such a discount. All right. Wow. Let's keep moving. Maybe maybe we'll find a fourth auto. Who knows? Very unlikely, but uh, let's keep going. All right. Steve Casper, Pat Lafontaine, and here's our first UD canvas. I'm surprised this is our first one but it is Steve Ruchin, just a base canvas. We got Chris Phillips of the Senators and Dallas Smith. So yeah, we'll probably see a couple more UD canvas in our last few packs here. So let's keep going. We got Jeff Daniels. We got Dominant Digits Maurice Richard. That's also our first Dominant Digits. So probably see some more UD Canvas, some more Dominant Digits, but Maurice Richard is a solid, solid pickup. All right, we got Terry Crisp, Brian Holzinger, and Harold Sneps. All right, we got Lori Boschman, Fedor Uton. Looks like another dominant digits, but we got Terry O'Reilly, Ivan Cornoye, and dominant digits, Scott Niedermeyer. Another great NHL veteran. And yeah, looks like a base. Nevertheless, still a very cool card. Yvonne Lambert. Another dominant digits, but we got John LeClaire, Jim Vandermeer, Brad Richards, and our dominant digits, Mario Lemieux. Another great NHL player. I was looking forward, I was looking forward to seeing uh, Matt Sundin, my favorite player in this box, but he's only got two cards in this entire set, and they're both very, very rare. So don't think we'll see that after her three autos. All right, three more. All right, we got Stuart Gavin. Looks like another canvas. Uh, Barrett Jackman, Lanny McDonald, Paul Reinhardt, and our canvas is base. Murray Craven of the Hartford Whalers. Haven't seen that jersey in a while. So it's pretty much identical to the canvas that you see. It's actually a little bit thicker than the canvas you'd see in a standard upper deck, uh, you know, regular series. All right, two more packs to go. We have Brian Lawton and another canvas. Yes. Ooh, we got Jills Millot again minnesota north stars another team we haven't seen in a while reggie leach bernie jeffrian and saku koivu nice all right last pack of this what's been an outstanding box Let's see if it can uh, bring some more joy some more action likely not but uh let's check it out we've got dennis hextall eddie beers and another canvas base, Michael Hansis of the Los Angeles Kings. Got Vernon Fiddler in our last card, Corey Cross. Wow, that was an impressive box. Let's recap. All right, so let's recap what we picked up in this box. Of course, we have our base cards Looking at four per pack for all 18 packs. So a lot of base cards here. Nothing too special, uh, but let's get on to the interesting things, which were the inserts that we picked up. So we got Life After Hockey of Chris Nillen. Solid pickup. We had our 
two evolves, Sammy Sallow and Grant Fear. We had our regular Decagons of Joe Watson. And of course, our bounty profiles of Yarmir Yager. Which is also a solid pickup if you're planning on completing that entire bounty. Not sure what the prize is, but I'll throw it up on screen real quick for those of you who are interested. And then moving on, we had a very structured kind of opening at the end. I'm not sure if it's the way I opened it, but we ended up with almost four canvases in a row. Nothing special here, just typical canvas cards. And the same thing with dominant digits. We saw them all in a row. We got Lemieux, Niedermeyer, and Maurice the Rocket Richard. Next up, we had our gold foil parallels, which were just the standard ones. But then things get interesting. We saw first pack, first auto. John Van, I'm sorry, I still can't say this. Van B. Brook. Van B's Brook. Either way, it's an auto, solid pickup. And we'll definitely take that. And then, of course, we had our gold foil auto being Tom Chorsk. Another auto in this box. And lastly, Shane Corson Decagons auto. So crazy box. We found three different autos, all very strong. Overall, 100% recommend this box, especially if you can get it at a discount like I did. Uh, let me know if you guys are deciding to pick it up, what you think of this box. Uh, and if you do decide to pick it up, good luck and take care.